Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to an episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today is part two, unexpectedly. But uh, I guess you know what? That's a little something for everything, right? You learned how to do a recoil, even though we didn't plan on it. But the good news is we confirmed that this thing runs. Okay? Now we're going to move on to part two. Okay? Is the frame, right? There is no way we could make any money by selling this machine in this condition. Now, I'll be 110% honest with you. I have never done a frame swap before. But again, it's nothing sophisticated. It's nothing crazy. I don't care if it's a Ferrari or a space shuttle or a plane. It is just nuts and bolts. So, the part number for the frame is 42A2 73806A. I will be putting this in the description. So in case you ever come across something like this, you can purchase this yourself. So, if you've never done something before, it's not a big deal, right? It's always good to look at the part before you just start diving into things. And then you have an idea, potentially, of how it comes apart. So you see here we have one with the light, right? Yeah, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These are for the straps. This is the handle. So that's eleven things. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, right? Whatever. So we need to start expecting start taking this thing apart. So now it just comes down to do we start taking this off first or do we start taking out the bottom? I'm thinking that we should do the bottom first because then we could just pull the blower, the blower out per se. Right? Thinking this is the gas tank and this is the actual blower frame itself. And now that I'm thinking out loud, maybe we should do that last as far as the gas tank. I don't know. We'll see. Let's wing it. Let's wing this together. So, easy part is, right, I'm a big fan of doing the hardest part first, because then when you get to the easy part, you are smooth sailing instead of going easy peasy and then struggling at the very end. So we're just going to cut these out. I mean, listen, these straps are in phenomenal shape. So we're going to be reusing them. Hopefully, you didn't do anything to ruin these straps. Because if I remember correctly, these straps are pretty expensive. Like I said, she she got this at a really good deal. So, I mean, don't let the hype that I'm doing with you guys. I mean, it's just, it's more of like a person, like, you know, when we do our lives, right, we just, we kind of just rag on each other. So it's just the guys, you know, ragging, per se. So now, how does this come out? Is this, okay, so these will, so what happens is, right, you see this here, this clip, we're going to turn this clip horizontally, right, and then we're just going to take it and turn it. You know, it's going to be easy to do it on this. See, Durr. see this here, this is your clip, we're going to take it, spin it horizontally, and push it through. Well, that, that, that's the way it should work. Right? You just pull it through. Okay, so you look perfect. The strap is free. Hmm. So we'll get that out of the way. Oh, you know what? I need to turn my phone on. Because you might be selling something. Yep, phone's on. Okay, so then we're going to do the same with this. Let's get these 
whips out. Alright, that's one. That's weird this side. It's two. We're literally gonna start peeling away at the layers of this blower. I don't think you have to take this machine entirely apart. I think. Remember, key word. Think. And I know sometimes I don't like to use the word think, but you know, that's life. The next part are these two T25 torques. Like I said, we're just going to start peeling the layers. Now, usually, I'm just, just going to do these by hand. Okay, that's one. For some reason, I think they'd be a lot more you know, the key. Now what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be wise, see these two? See this frame? I'm just going to stick them right in here. Like so. So now I know that's where they go. Right? Nice, simple, easy. I'll set this aside. And we will just start again systematically going through the machine. Now, there are some bits in here. But how do they go? Uh, okay. It's a little late. We're going to still continue to go around the machine. These straps are held in by another Torx. I want you guys to see it. But there's a Torx in here holding this in. So we will undo that. And hold the strap as you do it so you don't rip anything or twist. Kind of like when you're doing an eyelid, when you're doing electrical work, you just you hold the eyelid as you turn. Oh, that's nice and easy. Okay. Strap out. Fantastic. And then we'll just let this hang. We'll go over to our frame. Okay. And it goes right here. Oh, actually, is this thread into the frame? Come on, baby. Come on. Yes, this threads into the frame. So I guess we just have to use... Yep, this actually threads into the frame. Let's put it on its high. Make sure you guys are getting a good angle. And we will start the cutting process. Like so. Okay. Now, do you want to move down or up? And here we are. If we continue to go down, we see more of these clips. Let's, let's go down. Right, we're just going to peel away the layers. There we go. Another short one. Right? There's four that are holding this back pan.
So you want to know what's funny, right? Is no, it's funny. It's interesting to me. Is that when I went to order this back pad? Okay, the guy said it didn't include stickers. I really don't give a crap about stickers. I just care about the stickers that mean something, like it says still or BR seven hundred. Anything else to me is nonsense. I can like read the like this sticker here. Read the owner's manual. No one cares about that. Warning label. No one cares about that. You know what I mean? But this frame actually has them. So you know what? Let's let's do this one. I don't know. Just want to get easy access. Remember, we'll hold the strap as we do it. Let that go. And then we're going to just go over to our frame. All right? Good practice. Right in it. Okay. Then we'll go back. And we're back here at this frame. So if you need to replace straps or, or or pads on your still, this is also a very good how-to video. Right? So in case you need new straps and pads and stuff like that, I will Go the extra mile and even get those part numbers for you too. But these are in pretty good shape. Let me get a hold of it. So, not too shabby. We're almost home. Now, if I was using uh, an impact of some sort, We'd be going a lot quicker, but first time doing it, I don't want to strip anything. I don't want to make anything more complicated than it has to be. So that's that. So here you go. Here's our back pad. Remember the four clips. So we'll just set that aside. Okay. And then now we have these other two right here. It seem to hold the body. Now that's the reason why I'm not doing the back pad on the machine. Or want to get the pads will be the last thing that I put back on. Remember, we're just going to go over to the frame and put it back. I'm not going to put those little four screws in because we know those are definitely for the pad. Alright, you can't, you can't mess that up. Okay, now we're back here. And now we have to tackle these two clips right here and those seem very small and easy so I'm gonna go with the flat tip screwdriver it's just a little black part I'm gonna get it in between wow you just heard that snap I think I heard that snap Let's look at our frame. Ah, okay, so if we're looking at our bare frame, okay, these push down and we can release the caging. See this caging here? We need to release this cage from the frame. And what we're looking at are these white clips right here 
that I showed you on the frame. So let's stick a screwdriver in there, the flathead in between the black, and pry down, and that's released. Same thing on the other side, you heard that click, and that's released. Oh, doesn't matter, we broke it, the white part, we're replacing it. Alright, so let's get that. Now if you break these clips, right, it's not the end of the world because, remember, we don't need to salvage, we don't need to preserve this, we need to preserve everything around it. So it broke, it's not a big deal, remember, plastic is, hold on. Alright, where were we? Obviously, the sale was unsuccessful. I post a picture. The guy said he loved it, good power, and then he offers me a stupid offer. So, we're here. All right, so we have these removed. These removed. So, if you look at our frame, which we've had, and you should remember, right now, we have to focus underneath the machine. So, let's put the blower on its side, which I'm not too pleased about, and let's free it from underneath. Let's just see what happens. So, one, two, three, four. So this is just going to be the cover. Like I said, we're going to be peeling away the layers on this. And again, this would probably go a lot quicker and smoother if I was using a driver. But I don't know, man. I just don't... I'm just going to repeat myself. Certain things I say yes, certain things I say no. Probably the next one that I do be a yes. Just nice and slow. Doing blower surgery. All right. For the first time. Maybe when we put it back together, I'll start up my hand. And I'll put my driver on a low speed. And I'll just get it snug. And then we'll just give it the good old hand tighten because what's tough when you do something for the first time or especially just certain things in general is you just don't want to go gorilla tight or full send on everything. Alright see we're peeling away the layers. This comes right off. So we'll lay that right here and I'll actually put these screws just in the thing. Just so we know. So we don't lose track. See? Just like that. Okay, we we'll keep that there. Now we have more layers. Wow! Wow! So, this is pretty wild. Let's pull these out. I mean, you probably could do this. That's pretty crappy and complicated, right? If you wanted to change your straps completely, you need to pull that cover off. Compared to any other brand, you don't have to do that. So let's get. I don't know, man. That's a. To me, that's a little ridiculous because straps should be quick and easy to um, do because they're a very high wear and tear item. Why make them complicated? You know what I mean? It's completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. In my opinion. So as you guys can see here, like I said, horizontal and somehow, some way, you got to get this horizontal inside this freaking clip, which is, I'll be honest with you, 
It's like almost, you're just tempted to just break the damn thing. Because you're only replacing the strap. Because the strap is broken, so you would just cut the strap and pull it out, right? But if we're replacing the frame, it's like you want to just break the frame. <laughs> Let's struggle. Let's struggle. Let's see what we can do. We'll just pull this out with our needle nose. Hopefully we don't break anything. like that we're free okay we'll set the strap aside because that's cut and dry and now we have to work on the other and we just got to do the same thing get this horizontal and just get this thing on the move It's almost like just it's a screwdriver. It's like honestly, like you almost really just want to break this because we're not, we're not gonna use it. Strap broken. Easy. Strap is free. You don't got time for playing games. Alright. Now we got these four. One. Okay, that's a mount. One. And two, and I guess that's for our gas tank. Oh boy. Let's get our gas tank out. Now are these? Yep, these are the same length as our bottom bees. Yep, here comes the tank. Here comes the tank. Do 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 do. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Free Willy! Look at this. We're free. We're free. Right, let's get this out of the way. Pick everything. We'll slide this out. Uh oh, wait a minute. You're not seeing. This glorious moment. We are just sliding everything out in one piece. Okay, okay. Easy, 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 easy. Okay, here's the frame that we're stuck with, which is fine. We get this frame out. Mm. Oh, just come right off. I like that. Whew. Frame out. Now, the reason why I'm not going to wipe this down is I'm going to end up power washing this machine. So let's go to here. The new frame, and we know these four bolts go here, so let's, they're going to come out, which is fine. And we're just going to put this here, so, and if you see here, right, look, these, these nipples, see these nipples on the bottom? This slides right into the nipples, these holes, and you know we're snapped into place. So let's try to make sure. Right. 
Yep, see that? Snap, snap. Like that. All right, we're snapped into place. Wonderful. And let's see where we are with these screws. What fell out and what did it? One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's set these off the side here because he knows that that's what holds the blower to the frame. Now we're going to go back. And we are going to gingerly place this back in to the frame. Now any crazy debris that the pressure washer won't get will do. And we'll spin this round and round the fan. I don't see any debris in there. So now, with care, we need to place this back up. Right? Let's see. Let's get a good shot of this. Get you guys right about there. That nice Bob Ross shot. If you guys watched my Honda video, Bob Ross was a uh, guest. You definitely got to check that out. Hmm. Or maybe, you know what, let's lay it on its side. Because then we'll have the springs, right, naturally kind of rest into place. And you know what? If I probably would have taken the tube off, it would be a little bit easier. So if I was to do this all over again, because that's something quick and easy to do, just take the tube off. So what happens is we need to get these four springs lined up into their dedicated hole. You're doing is just playing with the position so all these springs are in these mounts. Let's drop you back down. Roller coaster. Hello. Roller coaster. Hang you know what? I think if I sing it, it's not, it's copyright free, right? But if I play it, we got problems. So you see how the springs are in there? We're set. Now let's go back. To the gas tank holes. Let's reverse engineer nice and slow. Now you guys know I love ANECs, but we are not doing that. You want to know why? Because you don't need to when you're dealing with plastic anti seas only. Except when you are when metal is involved. Now, how do you know metal isn't involved? If you look at this screw, this is more for plastic. So we know that we are screwing into plastic. And because we are doing that, I will not go by uh, tool. I'm just gonna go by hand. can get our bottom plate covered like so. Remember, we 
we took these apart. And now we can just reverse engineer. And now we know where these go because we set them up that way. And look at that. Wham! Put these back in. This should be the five. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. And the number five resonates with me because I originally came from a family of five. My parents, my sister, and my older brother Romeo. So we oh, that's not the one. So that's that. So we'll get these going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the crazy part is because this thing is brand new, these are really freaking tough to screw in. switch to something a little bit more efficient. I'm just going to use a ratchet and a socket because this new frame is going to need some, uh, some leverage. But I'm still not using an impact because I can feel it getting snug. Whenever you tighten something down, get into the habit of crisscrossing. Never want to strip a torque. Never. That is a hot mess express. If you do it that way. So we are at the home route. Home stretch. <gasps> Actually. You know what we should have done first, right boys and girls? Take a guess. What should have we done first? That's okay. We're not gonna. We 
should have did the straps. Because remember, it goes through the side here. So let's see what we can do here. Can we do it? Yeah, we could just stick that in. We could stick it in. Where, where? We get the handle nose. Just apply some some pressure. And like that, oh, we're in. Yeah, baby. Okay. If we need to turn it, we can turn it. Now, since we are in, we could go to the business end, which is the actual housing itself. And the last thing that we will put in are the straps and the pads. So, these four long ones will mate into the springs that we have. So let's, again, we will start One little crisscross, and now we're going to the other one there. I hope I'm not blocking. Yep, I'm blocking. Yep, you know what I should have had done because it's 30. I think 33 degrees out when I was at selling the blower. Obviously, I can't tell temperature when I'm here. So, 33 degrees inside, outside, it's 33 degrees inside here. Should have had my wife who said, I don't know why you're upset. I just got you content for your channel and you're a mechanic, so fix it. So, I should have told her, you should come out here. And film it. No, that's okay. She really did a lot of buying this week on her vacation. She doesn't have to. But, like I said, that's how she wants to spend her vacation. More power to her. Thank you. I wonder what the Catch-22 is. She's probably going to gloat on her weekly live. So, you guys should be there on our weekly live, because it's fun. Plus, I'm not condoning it, wife likes to give away stuff, give away my money. Snap-on tools, Milwaukee tools, Lucas Oil products. So I think, you know, that's why she had to go out and buy stuff, because I kind of gave her the business. Well, it was no surprise. You guys seen me. Like, you know, whatever. So, let's see. Now, we can do... Yes, because these are for the straps. This is for the pad. So, let's get this pad in. Alright, guys. So, at this point in the video, 
the GoPro die. I had no idea, but I mean, it is what it is. So I'm not gonna go back and take apart the machine. It was just those four torques that hold the back pad in. I did that first, and then I did the last two torques for the pads, for the actual shoulder straps. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. The way you took it off is the way it came back. <coughs> oh, listen. To do this job, as intimidating or time-consuming you think it may be, you needed two tools, T25 Torx and needle nose pliers. That's it, nothing else. Very simple, very straightforward. I, I can't even say, like sometimes I joke around like it's just nuts and bolts. No nuts, no bolts, just like just, just screwing stuff in and, and, and screwing stuff out. So uh, let's see how good this thing cleans up. All right, guys, you ready for this? helpful smash the like button smash that subscribe button and guess what i'll see you guys on the next episode of pat taste performance later oh one more thing remember this is wifey's demise we're doing so give her a thumbs up give her some confidence because we've been dogging her lately don't forget we go live every saturday morning 8 a.m eastern to 9 a.m. Eastern Time every Saturday. And don't forget, this week is the last week to enter the Snap-on Milwaukee Lucas Oil Products Tool Giveaway. Peace!